Welcome to Kids Meet Doctors series. My name is Aliyah and this is my co-host Elliot. Today we have a special guest joining us. Yeah, our special guest is Dr. Said Abdullah. Hello. Elliot and Alia, how are we doing? Show. Thank you very much. Can I sit down? Yes. yes. Thank you very much. Okay. Doctor, what do you do? Would you like to have a guess to what I actually do? Yes. yes. Yeah, go on then. Uh, you're some sort of surgeon. Neurosurgeon. Mm. You do neurosurgery? But yeah. I don't know what. <laughs> yeah. My name is Dr. Said. I'm a consultant neurosurgeon. So, brain itself is an incredible organ. So, what's that? Skull. 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 What's inside the skull? A brain. Brain. Yeah, that's what I do for a living. I operate on people's head if they become unwell. Yeah, and I also do something special with the spine. I want to start with something interesting. That's for you. That's for you, Alia. Thank you. What I want you to do, lift your leg up, lift it up, and go around in a circle. Okay, and then try to draw number six in the air. What have you noticed? I think my leg starts to change. Do you know that when you're asleep, your brain still working? Yes. Yeah, you know why? Because otherwise, you may not be able to breathe and your heart not going to function. Why do people need to see a neurosurgeon or a doctor? In the brain, sometimes as you grow older, there are problems with the structures within, within the brain. You can have problems with brain tumours. It's a growth within the brain. Sometimes your brain cells decide not to work where it's supposed to work. How does the brain connect to the spine? Imagine this, yeah? Um, pass me your hand. Close your eyes. What am I giving that? Uh, what, what am I doing there? You gave me the pen. When I place this pen onto your palm, the nerves in your palm will immediately detect there's something in my hand. And then what it does, it fires the messages quickly to the brain. You know, the nerve messages will travel along your hand, up to the spine, to the brain in one second. How do you keep your brain and your spine healthy? By exercising. Do that regularly. Yeah? Because if you look after your spine, your brain, and other organs of your body, those organs will look after it's you. Healthy. Thank you for joining us, Dr. Said. Thank you very much. Thank you. But most importantly, thank you for joining us. That's all the time we have today. Bye! Bye! Bye.